हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर हार्मोनिक फंक्शन वॉट इज देअर कनेक्शन विद द एनालिटिक फंक्शन एंड वॉट आर हार्मोनिक कॉन्जुगेट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड हार्मोनिक फंक्शन वन हैज टू लर्न वॉट आर लैपलास इक्वेशन लैपलास इक्वेशन कम्स इन टू फॉर्म्स कार्टेशियन एंड पोलार फर्स्ट वी सी वॉट इज कार्टेशियन फॉर्म ऑफ द लैपलास इक्वेशन it is an equation in two variables say x and y given by daba 2f by daba x square plus daba 2f by daba y square is equal to 0 here f is a function of two variables x and y this equation is called as laplace equation in two variables similarly if f is given in terms of r and theta and daba 2f by daba r square plus 1 by r daba f by daba r plus 1 by r square into daba 2f by daba theta square is equal to 0 this equation is known as laplace equation in polar form in this video we are going to particularly use the laplace equation in cartesian form now let's understand what are harmonic functions the function phi of x comma y which has continuous partial derivatives of first and second order and which satisfies the laplace equation in two variables is called as harmonic functions for example if phi is a function of x and y and it satisfies daba 2 phi by daba x square plus daba 2 phi by daba y square is equal to zero equation then phi is a harmonic function this equation can also be written as del square phi is equal to 0 or phi xx plus phi yy is equal to 0 these two are just the different representations of laplace equation now let us connect harmonic functions with analytic functions let f of z is equal to u plus iv be an analytic function where u is real part of f of z and v is imaginary part of f of z then it is the fact that u and v are harmonic functions but the reversal part or the converse part is not always true that is if u and v are harmonic functions then it is not necessary that f of z is equal to u plus iv is also analytic now we see what are harmonic conjugates we just saw that if f of z is equal to u plus iv is an analytic function then its real and imaginary parts are harmonic functions these real and imaginary parts are also known as harmonic conjugates of each other now let us solve an example on this here question is to prove that x square minus y square minus 2xy minus 2x plus 3y function is harmonic in nature we are also asked to find the corresponding analytic function f of z and the conjugate function so for that we first let the given function as u then we'll check whether u satisfies the laplace equation or not for that we will differentiate u partially with respect to x twice similarly partially with respect to y twice so partial derivative of u with respect to x would be 2x minus 0 minus 2x minus 2 plus 0 and partial derivative of u with respect to y would be 0 minus 2y Minus 2x minus 0 plus 3. Now we'll differentiate ux partially with respect to x again. So ux x would be 2 minus 0 minus 0, and uy y would be minus 2 minus 0 plus 0. So here we see ux x uy y are opposite in sign. therefore their addition leads to zero so function u satisfies the laplace equation uxx plus uyy is equal to zero 
Hence we say that u is a harmonic function. Now we'll find the corresponding analytic function f of z such that u is its real or imaginary part. For that we will use Milne Thompson method. Considering u as the real part of f of z, we will let phi 1 x comma y as u x and then we'll find out what is phi 1 z comma 0. Here phi 1 z comma 0 would be 2 z minus 0 minus 2 that is 2z minus 2. Then we let uy is equal to phi 2x comma y and we'll find out what is phi 2z comma 0. It would be minus 0 minus 2z plus 3. Now we take appropriate expression for f dash of z that is in terms of ux and uy. f dash of z is equal to ux minus iuy. Then we'll put values for ux and ui as phi 1 z comma 0 and phi 2 z comma 0 respectively. Substituting values of phi 1 and phi 2 z comma 0, we get f dash of z is equal to 2 z minus 2 plus 2 z i minus 3 i. Carry forwarding this expression of f of z on my next slide, we get now we will integrate both the sides to find out f of z. So integration of f dash of z is integration of 2 z minus 2 plus 2 z i minus 3 i which is 2 z square by 2 that is just z square minus 2 z plus 2 z square by 2 i that is just z square i minus 3 z i plus integration constant c. Simplifying this, we get 1 plus i into z square minus 2 plus 3i into z plus c. Now, we will separate real and imaginary parts of f of z by substituting z is equal to x plus i y in this. By doing so, we can easily recognize what is u and what is v in f of z. And we know that if, since f of z is an analytic function, u and v are harmonic conjugates of each other. In this way, we will get the corresponding harmonic conju conjugate. So let us substitute z is equal to x plus i y in this. So we get f of z is equal to 1 plus i into x plus i y the whole square minus 2 plus 3i into x plus i y plus c. We will simplify this and will separate the real and imaginary parts. We get real part as x square minus 2xy minus y square minus 2x plus 3y and imaginary part as 2xy plus x square minus y square minus 2y minus 3x plus integration constant c. Now it is clear that for the given function u, its harmonic conjugate v is given by 2xy plus x square minus y square minus 2y minus 3x plus c. I hope you understood what is harmonic function, how it is related to an analytic function and what is the harmonic conjugate of it. I have also shown you an example in which for a given function u, you can determine whether it is a harmonic or not. If it is harmonic, then what is the corresponding analytic function f of z and then how to find its harmonic conjugate. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.